Hi, my name is Oscar Mendez Lucio, and I'm excited to present our work, MOLE, a molecular foundation model for drug discovery. This work is co authored by Christos Nicolau and Burton Ershank, and it was carried out as recursion. There are many ways to represent molecules for machine learning models, such as fingerprints, which in general present very good performance in machine learning models. However, they suffer from what it's called bit clashing. An alternative is to use smiles directly on NLP architectures, such as RNNs or transformers. However, the fact that different smiles can encode the same molecule, and what is worse, that very similar molecules can have very different smiles, makes them not ideal. Finally, the most natural way to represent molecules is using graphs, which can be used with graph neural networks. However, GNNs only aggregate neighboring atoms and they miss long range dependencies of different parts of the molecules. We design MOLE trying to keep the benefits of known molecular representation at the same time that we try to overcome some of the issues that I mentioned before. MOLE makes use of powerful architecture such as the VERTA, which uses disentangled attention. It uses molecular graph as input in the form of atom environments of radius zero and the distance matrix. Atom environments of radius zero has information of the atom type and all bonds attached to it, but without the information of neighboring atoms. They are hashed into a unique identifier, which, uses as, which is used as the input for the transformer. This information is used to learn an embedding of atom environments of radius two which means the central atom and all the neighboring atoms separ separated by no more than two bonds. We design a pre-training strategy that consists of two steps. A self-supervised step to learn to represent chemistry in which we learn atomic em environments of radius two present in 1.2 million molecules. The second step is a su supervised step to learn biology in which MOLE is trained on 456,000 molecules and 1,310 tasks previously extracted from ChemBL. After pre-training, MOLE can be easily fine-tuned in downstream tasks, achieving very good performance. We benchmark MOLE using the ADMET group of the therapeutic data commons. This benchmark consists of 22 different tasks including both classification and regression. The number of data points in this benchmark range from very few hundreds to few thousands. This is the normal and standard size of data sets used in a drug discovery project. We compare our results to other methods that uses fingerprints, smiles, and graphs. Mole perform better than any other method on nine out of the 22 tasks in the therapeutic data common benchmark. In particular, the best results were obtained when using both self-supervised and the supervised pre-training, suggesting that the two-step strategy is needed to obtain the best results. In conclusion, we show that transformers can be used directly with molecular graphs in the form of atom environments and distance matrix. We propose a new and powerful self-supervised approach to pre-train molecular graphs. We also show that MOLE achieves state-of-the-art performance on nine out of the 22 ADMET tasks when using a two-step pre-training pre -training strategy. Thank you very much for your attention and visit our poster if you want to know more about our work.